Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about what is long running queries in the SQL Server 2016. Here, I am going to explain first of all, what is long running query and how to identify a long running query in the SQL Server 2016. Before going to the practical example of long running queries, we will talk about a couple of minutes. What is a long running query? See, there are some scenarios in the real time. Some queries are going to run very long time. Some queries are essential queries, which used to run for a long time. But there are some optional queries. Let us say there is a query one and query two. So query one has to run compulsory during a particular time, but query two can run any time. It's optional at that particular point of time. So that time I can hold the query two till some time till the query one finishes. It means that what I mean here is both are the long running queries only both are the queries which are going to take very long time to execute to give the results. So rather than running both the queries at a time, I want to run one by one. Obviously, yes, when I run one after another, I'm going to get a very good performance. If I run parallelly both the queries, the performance of the SQL Server is going to be little down. So that is I know that which are the two queries which may take little longer time. But yes, in the real time, maybe different queries also runs on the same server. I want to identify what are all the queries which are running on the SQL Server for a long time. That is nothing but a long running queries. There is a different way to identify blocking queries as well. So I will talk about that also slowly at the end of this video, how to identify the blocking queries. And in the next, we can identify what is the exact query which is taking long time. And it is started by whom? What is his session ID? What is his host name? We can identify each and every step at what time the query has been started, at what phase the query has been holded. So we can easily identify that. Now, in this video, I will talk about long running queries first of all. Now, see if you are coming for the first time to my channel, please subscribe for more Azure, SQL Server, MSBA and Power BI videos. And for more technology updates, please visit the Facebook page SQL MSBI. Facebook.com slash SQL MSBI page. There I will be keeping my technology updates. Please like for more updates that particular page. So I will be keeping this link in the description section so you can go and watch the space. Now, so let's come to the SQL Server 2016 window. So this is a SQL Server 2016 window. So where I am going to show a little examples. So here I am. I have a very basic database with the name of sample. So which contains uh, very less uh, tables. I have only four or five tables. Okay, so here I may not be able to show you the long running queries in an effective way because my database is very small. To show you that example, I am going to create a procedure which is going to take little long time. To explain you in detail, I am creating a procedure to take little long time. So how can I create a procedure which is going to take a long time is let me create a procedure create procedure name of the procedure okay so sp long running i'm just giving the long running example as begin and the end i'll put end here i'm going to write okay so i'm i'm simply keeping the select star from EMP. If I run this single query, you might be knowing. So it's a very quick query. It does not take more than a second or more than two seconds. But I my concept is here 
long running queries how to identify that so i am going to add wait for delay function here so wait for delay so how much time you want to wait let's put that particular time 00, zero hour i don't want to wait till hour i want to wait 2 minutes 0 to and how many seconds you want i can make it as a some 10 seconds it means that so to give you these results it is going to wait 2 minutes and 10 seconds so then i am just thinking if any processor which is taking more than 2 minutes i can take it as a long running query in my server as per my database statistics as per my standards so let's create the procedure let's click on execute the processor has been executed now so if i run the procedure obviously yes it is going to take that much time it is going to wait 2 minutes and 10 seconds then only it will give you the result let me execute this exec and what is the procedure name the name of the procedure is sp long running let's put this let's run this execute once you are okay let's execute this see here even though it's a very basic query it is taking that much of time if you see the seconds are running here 6th second 7th second 8th second and so on it goes till 2 minutes and 10 seconds after that it gives you the result now so this query is going to take 2 minutes minimum now let me go to the long running queries how to identify the long running queries so let me close this window not required yes, there is a query which I framed for you to explain let's go to this window there if you see this here I am using two system tables the first one is sys.dm underscore exec query stats so this is a one table which required to give what is a long running query there is a one more thing dm underscore exec underscore sql underscore text so here it is expecting sql handle value so I, I will be doing a cross apply as it is a function so here I will be passing a function here a value to this particular one okay so now so these are the two objects I am using in my query to get the details and if you see what are all the details I am going to get as output is t dot text it is nothing but a query name next one stat that execution count it is execution count I am just renaming stat that max elapsed time how much time it is taking and I want average elapsed time as well so stat that total elapsed time divided by execution count it gives you the average elapsed time and at what time created created date and frequency per second so this may be required may not be required you can take it off if you don't want then let's run this so once I run this so here I will be getting some values if you see this so these are the two queries which are running very long time if you see the execution count is one max elapsed time is the seconds this one and created date is this frequency per second is zero yeah this has been given the result which took around two minutes and ten seconds why because I kept a wait time of two minutes and ten seconds let me run again this so now let me come here see do you see this my query is coming here I can see the query which is running now let's copy this text let me put in a separate window so that you can understand in a very easier manner now let us see this it is coming as a single line but yes so it, it comes like this like this like this yes do you see this see what is the procedure which has been created so I am getting with this query it means that this query is taking more than expected why because I kept as a wait for a delay that is the reason it is taking long time otherwise this is not a long running query just to explain you I kept it as a wait for a delay function here so this is how you can easily identify what are all the queries which are running for a long time <coughs> now you can think of it so who is running and all we can say it is we can identify the host name and we can identify the session id we can identify this user id and all so you you will be able to get that if you see this 
so this table might be containing many more details let me run all the details if you want it's can select sql handle is this and uh, offset and all these are the list of details whatever the details we want we can get it <laughs> here you can see last physical reads min physical reads max physical ends this one writes and all we can see there are many others are there see these are all many other columns also there in the table so based on your requirement you can get it so for time being so i have used only this if you want to put some t, t star so there are many other columns also there let me put it as a t dot uh, star so there are some other columns also comes from the t here you can see encrypted is the connection is encrypted see is the db id object id number and encrypted and text so these are the list of fields you can see in your uh, this object so this is how we identify the long running queries so this query might have already done yes this is all done and it is it it already crossed 2 minutes and uh, 10 seconds let me run this so obviously so i will not get that particular one yes so do you see so none of the queries are running long now why because that query is already completed my procedure is already completed so now at this particular point of time in my database there are no queries which are running for a long time so this is how you need to identify so this is a very good function this is a very good example for the sql developers or sql dbas so that's all about a long running queries in the sql server in the next video i will talk about how to identify a blocking queries so please keep watching our the technology videos and provide your valuable feedback so please like the facebook page for more updates thank you that's it